All right, everyone, so you're back at the garage right here. We're going to go ahead and look at replacing the driver's front strut spring assembly on this thing. I got some Monroe <laughs> parts and everything. Basically, from what I read or kind of read on YouTube, I should be able to take the four nuts off the top, pull it down, and take the big bolt off the bottom where the clevis uh, bracket is, I think, whatever it's called like that. There's a bolt going through it to hold it. So hopefully, I should be able to just take... The top off the bottom off and then um take that cleavage bolt off that's actually holding it in pull it down and should come out of place so let's see if that works my spline loading us out how to use my key that i keep and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this wheel off and um after that we should be able to loosen the four bolts that's holding this in we're gonna have to remove this tipm move it out the way and there's four bolts underneath this and then uh, we'll take that loose, and then we'll take the bolt for the clevis uh, loose. I'm going kind of fast here. Let me slow down. So uh, basically, I want to go ahead and take this loose. I'm going to loosen this up. I wanted to kind of clean this all up and everything like that, but at this point, I'm just not really that concerned about it. But as um, long as it holds it in place, I may hit it with a wire brush real quick. I wanted to kind of put a little paint on this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take this bolt loose and uh that should drop it uh a little bit so we'll see how that works all right so this is a 21 millimeter i'm gonna go ahead and just loosen this up while i'm right here all right i'm gonna get my secret weapon wd-40 right here i'm gonna spray all this down yeah get that all nice and juicy looking all this down in here so this thing come loose. What's that right there? I want to get right there. If I got any left. Oh man, it might be out of my secret weapon. You're my daughter trying to ride a bicycle. <laughs> come bell, baby. Bell a little bit. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta push down. You want you want me to give you a little push? Let me help you out here. Say go. Go. Go, go. Okay, well, anyway, um, back on it. We got a 13 16s here. This is locking everything in place. We'll take this bolt out. We should be able to loosen this clevis bracket, which is actually holding that spring strut in place. And uh, hopefully, we could just push down enough on this to get it out of place. So, let me go ahead and get this nut out and we'll go from there. All right, got a trusty hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and, since we got that nut off, we'll go ahead and bang this out the way. Easier said than done with one hand, but there we go. Let me pull this all the way out. All right, so I got a 3 8 inch uh, extension and basically hammering the rest of it all the way out. I don't know how much pressure this thing's on, but we're gonna find out. Before I remove this bolt down here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this and get this loose. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this whole thing. All right, so I got that bolt all the way out. Now I was able to take a hammer and just kind of tap this and get it loose. So it just comes loose. That's done. I'm gonna make sure I put that nut with this other one so I don't lose it. So now I'm just gonna bang this with a hammer to kind of loosen it up uh, and maybe move it out of its place right here. I want to move this down and out the way. So I'm gonna try to get it like, move it come here so you get some more play out of it. So I want to move this whole thing forward. Yeah, man, this is working out pretty good. Let me set up my camera right here. Uh, see if I can get y'all in. So basically what I'm doing is hitting the whole cleavage bolt kind of forward, but then hitting it down at the same time to release it, okay? Forward, down, okay? And, uh, you know, I want to get this out of this place. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and move this uh, TIPM. Basically, uh, there's tabs, like right here, right there. 
you can push those tabs in and just start do one side and do the same on this other side and you can pull this whole TIPM out the way from what I remember um, I think you know just be careful you don't want to tear up any of the wire or anything like that so uh, I may have to remove this battery let me take a look at this and get my flashlight and everything but for what I remember it's underneath here like I do have to remove this battery because it is uh, two bolts like underneath here. So let me go ahead and get a, I think it's 10 millimeter. We'll go ahead and get that out. All right, go ahead and loosen the negative. I don't know, I'm just doing this first because it's right here. I need to clean this up anyway. And uh, then we'll do the positive. Make sure you don't hit anything else metal in here when you're on the positive because it will make a big spark and probably burn up half the damn car. <laughs> Excuse my French. But we'll go ahead and get those two out the way. Then there's a 10 millimeter bolt down there that's holding it in. So let me get that. So go ahead and get this bolt out the way. Let's get the battery hold down. Get this all the way out. <clears throat> and uh, try not to hit the post like this one. I definitely want to clean up this neutral one. And maybe giving us an issue with the car uh, not having a good ground. So uh, I definitely want to clean that up eventually. Okay, we'll get this coming on out. We'll go from there. All right, so you can slide the battery this way. And then I wish I had a, some hose or something to hold this thing, but let me see if I can get it out without damaging. Oh, it does have one right here. Thank God. <clears throat> get that out of the way. All right, so uh, we we'll look at, I guess, removing this tray. Looks like there's a bolt here, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and remove this. I uh, think it's part of the uh, missions uh, EVAP system, blah, 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 blah. Um, this looks like a 12 or something. Grab a sock. Okay, this one way over here is a 13 millimeter. Go ahead, take this loose, and then see what else may be holding this battery tray in place. All right, I found that there's one way down in here too. So go ahead and loosen this up and uh, hopefully that'll get it out of the way. Did this TIPM, TIPM up. Uh, there's three 10 millimeter bolts underneath this, holding this bracket up. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this, take the bolts out. I should be able to move this out the way so I can push this out the way. So I get to the four freaking bolts for the strut. So basically I just, this folds down this little bracket right here which is pretty cool so i was able to just kind of set the tip up in here and uh take out these three 10 millimeter bolts now that i got that bracket out of the way there's one more 13 millimeter bolt down here holding this bracket in place no, don't run right here. yeah don't run around here like that All right, there is a little like classic little thing. I'm just going to take uh, these child locks and kind of just pull that up so I can get to these two. All right, so we got all four nuts out, okay? And uh, I think we're just going to smack the hell out of this thing down here, see if it'll just come out. I mean, it's dropped pretty good substantial down here already. Um, I just need to beat the hell out of it and it should come out. All right, I'm gonna work on taking this uh, stabilizer bar link out. That's on this side here. See that it help drop it. All right, so I was able to get this whole bolt out that side there. So this pulled this whole thing down. So it's dropped down that much. I just need to. I got a big old. I call it break bar. This is actually a TV mountain pole. I'm pushing down on it so I can release the rest of it. So let me go ahead and get this out. All right, so a little wiggling, the cleavage bolt or bracket, whatever you want to call this is out. Go ahead and take this bolt out of here and drop this out, get a new one, put it in its place and then do the other side. So for now, I went ahead and put a block just underneath it because this was kind of in the way of the old shop coming out. It was hitting right in here. All right, so let me go ahead and take this bolt back out. Um, 
All right, so let's see about grabbing this thing. Man. All right, so for, before I lease this boat, I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab this. It does have a little bit of weight to it, so hopefully it don't fall on my arm. There it is. Got it out. Let me uh, grab this boat and everything up. I'm gonna pull this on out. Like this. All right. Boom. So uh, they look the same. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in. It does say left. <laughs> and. Uh, don't you know be caution this is on compression but you just bolt it in you gotta be cautious with any kind of car part <laughs> says at the installation vehicle height may appear higher please allow cool springs to settle okay <laughs> all right so we're gonna snake this new one in no one's place basically opposite install uh. So yes, you can take it out without loosening your lower and upper ball joints. <laughs> it is possible. Ooh, we is looking good, man. I like that look. Everything's starting to look brand new on the fear. So uh, I'll go ahead and put all these bolts back in place, tighten all that up, and install is just reverse. <laughs> all right, so they say that these bolts up here, 18 millimeter, the strut mounting bolts, take 80 foot pounds of torque so come over here to my mess i got going on sorry i'm not as clean i'm trying to get things done and i'll uh, get my torque wrench here it's not no fancy one but uh you know i think let's see i think yeah 80 is on this side here so basically i'm just going to screw it to it reaches about right there this this point because you have your zero so I'm basically going to screw it to it says zero and zero is right here at 80. Then I'll torque it and it'll click. One thing I noticed is that this ground is looking pretty gnarly. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this bolt off, clean everything nice and good. Maybe even clean this ground here too while I'm at it, while I'm in here. Especially since this one's underneath the battery. All right, so we're gonna look at putting this cleavage bracket back in. We're gonna remove this cinder block push the whole suspension down and then slide this in place all right Watch this thing here Let me pick up on this a little bit if possible here we go and pull that down let's go down now and yeah, we'll slide this. All right, so I was able to actually, um, you know, I can see this, slide this right on the here. I basically just took it and slid it in place here and then slid it back. And right now it's just sitting below it. So we're gonna just kind of hammer that back up and push the whole suspension back in place. All right, so um, let's see y'all get y'all in here. I went ahead and, you know, kind of slid it almost where it needs to be. I'm gonna see if I can get this bolt down, down here in place. Uh, and then I could just push up on everything, get it back in place and put this stabilizer bolt back in. All right, so basically you're gonna slide this back in, hand this across until you get it in place. And we're gonna take the nut, put the nut on the other side. Now let's go ahead and tighten this and torque this all the way down to how that done. And then uh, we can go ahead and get this. Now I'll probably wait till I get this all the way up and then I can get this in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this bolt down here first. And then we'll put the stabilizer bar that's on this side back on. We'll move the suspension up, which will slide this back up in place, which you can't see right now. It'll slide this back up in place here. And then we could put, tighten this up. All right, now that get this all out of the way, we've gotten this. Um, you can see this. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. It's kind of dark down here. 
but I got this nut tight. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and pull this suspension back up. Uh, I'm probably going to jack it up. Yeah, and um, get this stabilizer bar back in its place. All right. All right. So, y'all can see this right here. I got this jack underneath this control arm, and I don't even really have it underneath the nut or anything it's got on the bottom and basically I'm just going to push that clevis bracket back in its place so let me go ahead and get that and you'll see it just slowly start going back where it needs to go going back to his home so we're going to push this back up and then we'll make sure that the stabilizer um bar over here on this side will line up also so let me take a look at that all right, so uh, if you can see, this is the side, and it's about an inch or so down. So we're going to just keep on, uh, if you'll let me compress it, and get this going back where these go. Hopefully it'll press. There we go. There we go. And uh, work on that. All right, so basically I raised and lowered it just enough where I can get this lined up. I want to be very careful I don't strip this. So uh, let me see if I can... I don't know if I can hand tighten it, but I want to get this going in place. All right, so basically I kind of jacked it up just every so gently to start it going in by hand, and I know I'm in the actual thread, so let me put a socket on it. All right, well, go ahead, ratchet it down, and yeah, it's going in nice and smooth. When I go to do these little control arms, it'll be so much easier because I've already broken all this stuff loose. I'll probably do the uppers first, uh, and then, because those won't be so bad, and then I'll do the lowers one day. We're gonna see how this shocks ride. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna get this clevis boat, and that should go in there nice and smooth. We're gonna torque this down. I'll look at the torque specs. The sway bar in link was like 85 pounds, foot pounds, and we'll go ahead and get this torqued down too. Cut this ground. Uh, somewhat clean. I don't have too much sandpaper, but go ahead and get all this clean and that clean down there. Put it all back together. All right, everyone. So, uh, went ahead and got the wheel. Everything's getting back in here. I just got to put the battery in. I'm going to pull the car out since I only got like a one car garage. Move it more to the left so I get the passenger side done. But, uh, for the most part, yes, you can replace these front struts basically without taking any ball joints loose, okay? I just showed you how to do it. The driver's side is the most hardest because you gotta take that battery, the air box, no, the battery and the TIPM and all this and that out. But anyway, I appreciate y'all checking out the video. I mean, and I, I love all the support y'all give me. We're gonna keep this channel going as far as I can go. <laughs> Let's get me in shape, you know what I mean? Cause I, I was talking to one guy, uh, I think his name was David about, you know, he was like, hey man, just go buy like a $400 Milwaukee impact wrench. I would love to right now, but right now I'm trying to save as much money to put parts into the car to make it ride better and run better and last better and just be maintained and stuff like that. So I'm kind of holding off on that, but eventually I'll probably end up getting one. I'm just going to keep on wrenching at it, but y'all check it out.